Finally, let's talk about something beginners have a lot of trouble with, the bridge. There are three bridges we're going to teach you about, the open bridge, the closed bridge, and the rail bridge. We're going to start with an open bridge. To accomplish an open bridge, lay the hand flat on the table, cup the hand. A lot of people, when they start doing this, bend these knuckles here, wrong, cup the hand here, and then make a V with your thumb and squeeze that finger because that thumb is what the cue sits on and the cue touches the skin on the thumb and the skin on this finger. Now what happens a lot is the cue will press against this fatty tissue here and that can make the cue sticky. So what we do is turn the fingers under the cue just a little bit so now the cue only touches this area and does not touch here. And here's what that looks like like so. With this open bridge, the nice thing about it is it's so solid. It should be pressed on the table and it should not move. And whether you shoot above center, in the middle, or below center, it's so easy to adjust the height on the cue ball just by pulling or pushing on the fingers. That's what makes this bridge so nice. Another reason we want to teach all beginners to use an open bridge is it trains them not to squeeze with this back hand. When you're using a closed bridge and you squeeze when you shoot, it's hard to tell. But with an open bridge, if you squeeze when you shoot, the cue will fly up in the air and that looks pretty funny. So it's possible to shoot very hard without the cue coming off that thumb and that's what we want you to understand. The next bridge we're going to talk about is a closed bridge. In a closed bridge, this finger comes around the cue and touches the end of the thumb and the middle finger goes under the thumb for supporting the thumb. This bridge also is very solid. As you can see, the entire side of the hand is on the table. Very solid bridge. To adjust this bridge, you just slide the fingers out. I'm just turning the hand uh, up on its side farther for above center or for below center. Very solid bridge, a little tricky to get if you're a beginner, but it's pretty easy to learn after you shoot 50 or 60 balls with this bridge. It's called a closed bridge. Again, stability is the name of the game on a bridge. It's important to know that professional players, when you watch them play in tournaments, use both open bridges and closed bridges. And you'll see that generally if they use power on a shot or if they're putting a lot of spin on the cue ball, they'll generally close up the bridge. So I will shoot this shot nice and slow, stop the cue ball, below center, open bridge is fine. But if I was going to shoot this shot with a lot of power and say draw the cue ball back to the other end of the table, then I'd want to close up the bridge using more power. One bridge that gives everybody problems is the bridge where the cue ball is zero to three inches from the rail. Most people really butcher this bridge. They put the thumb under, they elevate the cue way up in the air, and now they're bounce aiming. They can't aim very straight. Remember, a level cue helps you aim the straightest you possibly can. So what we do with the cue ball as close to the rail is we hold the cue almost level. It's only elevated in the back a little bit and we adjust this thumb here so it just barely touches the cloth here. So when you're stroking, you don't press on the cloth, but the cue should barely touch it. And when you shoot, the important thing is the cue stick, the shaft, should be touching the cloth here when the shot is completely over with. Watch that once more. As the cue goes through the ball, the cue remains touching here. If it doesn't remain touching, that means you dropped the elbow, the tip went up in the air, and you probably miscued. The other rail bridge is when the cue ball is three to 10 inches away from the cushion. This is the easiest bridge in the whole pool game. The reason it's so easy, all you have to do is lay the cue on the rail, put the hand flat next to the cue, and put one finger over the top. These two fingers keep the cue from wiggling back and forth. Easiest bridge in a pool game. It's level, easy to use, easy to sight down the cue. Probably the biggest mistake made in using this bridge is again, 
putting that thumb under the cue. I go to so many amateur tournaments around the country and people are elevating the cue, shooting this kind of a shot. The cue should be on the rail, level. This is a friendly bridge, so easy to use. Easiest one in the whole game of pool. An important thing to remember on rail bridges is you always want to maintain a bridge length of four to five inches. So as you can see, if I were shooting straight off the rail, this does not, this does not give me my four to five inches, so I revert to this bridge like this. Although if I was shooting the same shot at this angle, now I have my four to, four to five inches minimum, so I can use this bridge. When the cue ball is close to or on the rail, and the angle you're shooting is almost parallel to the rail, we get into an area we call contortion bridges. As you can see, if I was shooting away from the rail a little bit, I could use this bridge, very simple. But now that I get along more parallel, now it's harder to get a solid bridge, so sometimes you have to drop one finger over and contort your hand a little bit. Now if I'm aiming a little more parallel with the rail, I drop another finger off and stabilize the cue with a nice solid bridge. These are called contortion bridges and you just have to do the best you can. There is a bridge that most pool players consider to be the most difficult and that's the bridge we use when we shoot over a ball as in this case. This is a very difficult bridge. I'm going to show you an easy way to get there but don't let anybody tell you this is easy. Make a normal open bridge. Spread the fingers apart, set the cue on it. Now watch when I just pick up the hand and only elevate the cue just enough to get over the top of the ten ball. Many people make the mistake of elevating more than they have to. Just enough elevation to clear the ten ball. Watch, watch it again now. Open bridge, spread the fingers, pick up the hand, just enough elevation to clear the 10. Finally, if you get a shot that you just can't reach, then you have to bring out the mechanical bridge. Some people have a lot of trouble with this until they learn a few basic things about the bridge. Treat it as an extension of your left arm. Place it 8 to 10 inches from the cue ball. And notice it has several variations here. I'll choose this one. Now when you use a mechanical bridge, this hand goes from here over the top like this. And a lot of people think that you have to keep the mechanical bridge parallel with a cue stick. That's not true. Get it over here so you can just wiggle it around, kind of lean on it. Now you get your cue. If the cue kind of points at, the, at your neck, that'll put your eyes above the cue to give you a nice 3D picture of where the cue tip is. So when you take your warm-up swings, the elbow is straight off to the side here. And when you shoot, your job is to make the cue go straight ahead like this. <laughs>